Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to walk you guys through my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus October 2019 box. I'm very excited for the box this month because there's a lot of really good goodies in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. And a quick reminder that the Ipsy Glam Bag is usually comes in a little cosmetic bag with five sample size products but I have recently upgraded to the Glam Bag Plus box and it comes with five full-size products for $25. And each month they let you choose one of the items in your box as well. And so when you choose your one full-size products, then they'll surprise you with the four, or you can not choose one and then have them surprise you with all five. But I took a look and I was very excited because I am definitely a skincare whore. <laughs> And I love all things skincare. So when I saw the Purely Serum as an option of one of the items that I could pick, of course I wanted to choose this one. So I have been using the Pure Lease Blue Lotus Brightening Serum for about a week now. I wanted to give it a try so I can see like what I thought about it to let you guys know. But so far, so good. So this is the box it came in and then this is the serum. I'm really liking the serum so far. It is a really moisturizing serum, and I feel like some serums might be really, really liquidy, where I don't really feel like it's really moisturizing, where it's almost too liquidy and I feel like it evaporates too much, like a full hyaluronic acid serum, which I know that those are very good for your skin, but I don't really feel like it leaves my skin feel like it's quench. I really like the texture of this serum and I will definitely continue to use it to see how it goes kind of long term but it is such a large size so it's going to last me a really long time but I just really enjoy the overall texture of it and it makes leaves my skin feeling very moisturized and it has like a nice slip where it definitely gives me a good foundation for the rest of my skincare products. I'm gonna test it out. I really, really just like the the overall texture of it and definitely makes my skin feel very moisturized. So the value of this serum on its own is $65. And so it came in my $25 box. So just one product I'm already saving $40. It also came with this cute little bag. Sequins on one side cute little heart charm and it's a little Betty Boop theme very cute and it's a really good size too cute red little inside it came with a Betty Boop Ipsy blush palette the palette has Betty Boop on there it comes with a mirror as well. I just need to peel off the mirror protector there. But it comes with three different shades. The shades are actually pretty light and neutral, which I like. This one here looks kind of like a dusty peach. And it looks matte. And then over here in the center, it has more of a golden sheen to it. And then over here on this side is going to be the lightest color blush. And it looks like it has a little bit of like pink reflex in there. All right, so I did a little bit of swatching. So the colors in the pan are directly above the colors on my hand. So definitely one is going to be a darker dusty matte rose on the right side. The medium one is going to be a peachier with like a golden sheen. And then on the left side is going to have a little bit more of a pinky sheen. So I'm going to give them all a try. With blushes like this where they're all going to have kind of like different finishes and one's like sparkly and one's matte, I actually like to mix them all and just kind of see what happens. So for the sake of trying them out, I'm going to go ahead and just like mix them all up and put them on my cheek. <laughs> the blush brush that I am using is the MAC 129. So I'm just gonna dip in all of them. A matte, and then the middle, and then the end. 
tap off some of the excess. Very cute, light color. And of course, you don't have to mix them all up and you can wear them separately. Why not wear them all together? <laughs> All right, overall thoughts, the blushes are actually very light and give you a very natural glow. Not very, very pigmented, so you can really build up the color and continue to use more product if you want it to be a little bit brighter. But it went on really, really smooth, and I really like the texture of it when you, to the feel, is very smooth and powdery. I almost see that it's kind of like smoothing out the texture of my cheek there, so I'm definitely into that. So overall, I think it's a very, very cute blush palette. I think it would look really good on all skin tones, and it's kind of nice for the fall to give you that peachy finish. And because these blushes are so light, if you have a plum or something that you generally like to use in the fall, topping with this would be really pretty too. Yeah, into this blush. I think it gives me a nice, pretty cute little glow and not too intense. The value of this cheek palette is $28. Next, we have the Tracyk All Over Starlight Powder Stick in Ultra Violet. And the value of this one is $18. And it is a powder stick and it is seems to be an all over highlighter. So let's check it out. Ooh, the packaging is so cute. It looks like a little chubby crayon. And you just pull the top off. Oh, you twist the top off. <laughs> and then, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Looks like it is a powder stick and it has kind of like stars on top there. Let me swatch it for you guys. Oh wow! <laughs> I just swatched it right here and it is definitely very intense. Gives you that like holographic vibe. Alright, I'm just gonna go in with it on my cheek. Maybe... Oh, hello, hello! <laughs> I'm gonna just use my finger to blend it out. It definitely is a powder stick, so it blends out really nicely. But it kind of gives me that like pinkish, purplish holographic glow. Pretty. All right, I'm gonna do the next side. Hello. I'm gonna blend it out with my finger. want to put a little bit more on. I think it's pretty when you kind of drag it, drag it up a little bit to the temples, but definitely just like the top of the cheeks and the cheekbone. Pretty! I really love the, the powder texture because usually a lot of these highlighter sticks are cream and sometimes it's a little bit harder to work with because you have to, you know, make sure you're putting cream products on top of your cream foundation. And so sometimes it could be a little bit hard to kind of blend and work with. But the fact that this one is a powder but in stick form, it went on really well. It definitely was really intense when I first swiped it, but then it was really easy just to use my finger to kind of blend it out. This is definitely a really fun product product and you know just why not I could also go in with my finger and like put a little bit on the bridge of my nose as well maybe a little bit on my cheeks bow a really fun product kind of like a mix between a highlighter stick but it's powder that's awesome and really easy to use so really into that again $18 value next we have a Tarte chrome paint shadow pot in the color fire dancer and this is a 22 dollar value Ooh, it's a very heavy duty pot it's in glass pretty little reflective top but ooh, definitely a really pretty like metallic ruby color i'm just gonna go in with my finger Oh, but it feels creamy and very reflective. Wow. Whoa, look at that. 
super reflective. So pretty. I feel like this is a really, really great color for like the fall and like holiday and I can like see using it um, for like a holiday party look or something like that. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and maybe pop some on my lid so we can see what it looks like. So I just put some on my finger. How fun! That was really easy to use. All I did was pack some on my finger and then put some on the lid and then use my finger to kind of blend out. And it's really easy to work with. And it's a very cool texture too, because it looks like powder, but then it's like a mix between like a powder creamy situation. And put some on my finger. And go in on the lid. You can also use clean fingers to kind of make sure that it is blending out easier. Hey, so fun. And then lately I've been really liking just using a bronzer in my crease for an everyday kind of like transition color in my crease. So I think I'm just gonna use a blender brush, the MAC 224, to kind of like blend out some of the color. Fun little quick red smoky eye situation. <laughs> that was really fun and really easy to use and really easy to blend out. I am definitely going to check out to see if they have any more colors that I want to try online. But definitely I think for a color like this, if you don't want to wear it all over the lid, whenever you're doing a standard smoky eye or something, this would be a really fun pop of color on the lid to add that little extra something. But yeah, that was fun. Last but not least, I have the Jewel Smith Beauty Power Gloss Duo in Namaste All Day and Serene Queen. This is a $32 value for two glosses. Here are the two gloss colors. The darker one is the Namaste All Day. And then this one over here, the lighter, more sheer one, is Serene Queen. Again, why don't we mix a little bit of both while we're playing around with everything. So the Namaste All Day is definitely a little bit more pigmented, a little bit more of a pinky nude. Then the lighter one is more iridescent and has kind of like some gold flecks in it. So Namaste All Day is definitely the one that is a little bit more pigmented and then the Serene Queen is the one that is a little bit more iridescent. They both have some golden micro glitter in it. it has a nice little slip and I it definitely isn't too sticky. I can't stand glosses that are too sticky. That drives me insane. <laughs> so it feels really really nice. It says on here that is inspired by the power and purpose of gemstones. Our glosses provide balance, harmony, attraction, confidence, and well-being. There's agate power, boosts creativity, harmony, and protection. And pink quartz power boosts clarity, energy, and enhances meditation. Okay. If you're telling me a gloss is going to do all that, I'm sold. <laughs> All right, so definitely fun playing with all these items. I don't think that I would be wearing all of them at the same time, but overall it was really, really fun to play with and try all of them. Honestly, I recommend all these things. It always comes with this card here that describes a little bit more about the products and then also their actual value of each product. So a really, really great value for $25, which is so awesome. If you haven't given the Ipsy box a try yet, I do recommend just because it will 
introduce you to different brands and different types of products that you've never used before. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you give the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus a shot. I would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions about the products that I use today. But overall, really, really enjoyed playing with all of it. I'm going to look up more of these colors and brands to see what else I can try. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. All right. Thank you guys. See you next week. Bye.